The basic concept of customize your web is quite simple. If you want to customize a website, you have to create a script. Think of a script as just a data container where all the information of your customization are stored in. At the root of that data container, you have the script itself and you can give the script a name so you can better find it later on if you want to edit it again. The second main information which you need is a de proper description for which websites the script should be applied. And you provide this with an URL string and you can replace part of that URL string with a star that acts as a wildcard character. You can also define for which URL patterns the script should not be applied. These so-called exclude URL patterns overrule the so-called include URL patterns. Of course, the heart of the script is the information about your customizations and these are called the actions. You can add an arbitrary number of actions to a script. So for example the first action would be a shortcut for the search field. Almost every action refers to a specific element on the website and Customize Your Web needs a proper description so it can easily find the um, element after every page load. Customize Your Web offers two styles to describe the target element. The first is a simple style and that's just a list of name value pairs which identifies the target element. Let's add a second action, for example a remove action for the advertising. The second possibility to define a target is with an XPath expression. So when a page is now loaded Customize Your Web looks up on the basis of the provided URL patterns which scripts should be applied for this website and executes the containing actions in a sequential order. That's it.